we've always said one day we'd be high on the hog. Money's and honeys. A Low Down Dirty Criminals is a film about a couple of young chaps who think maybe the life that they're leading isn't too flash and one of them has a contact who's in the crime world and they think it's an easy way to get monies and honeys as they refer to it. They get given a fairly straightforward job to do that most people would competently accomplish. However, they decide that they're going to take a bit of initiative, which quickly puts them in a bad position with their boss. And that sort of throws them on a trajectory of chaos, whereby they just get, things get worse and worse for them because all these other criminals get involved. It's a journey and a half. It's a journey and a half for them too. Dude comes home and we're already in there. We surprise him and then like, bam! Like jump out from behind a couch or something. Yeah, whatever's going to work best. You think it's even the right room? Only one way to find out. The script came about after watching um, too many uh, Guy Ritchie and Tarantino movies. The first thing that attracted me to the film was the script. I got a phone call on a Sunday afternoon from Paul Murphy who said, look, I've got this project, would you be interested? I said, hey, look, I'll, I'd love to read it. I started reading it the minute he sent it through and I called him back probably an hour later and just said, I am so incredibly in. James Rolleston was always a reference in my head about what Freddie would be like. I, at the time, I didn't think that he would do it. He is, I wouldn't even say a rising star, I'd say he is a star. I thought, well, you know, in these situations, you can only ask. Through Liz, we, we contacted James through his agent, and to my delight, he, he said, yeah, give us a look. And we gave him the script, and I went up and had a one-on-one -on -one session with him in terms of having a look at him on camera, and I just loved what I saw, and he's been amazing. Paul and Liz came up with the idea to approach Rebecca. Paul's worked with her before, and Liz had a connection, and we just went, she could be brilliant at this. And it's a real, it's been really exciting to see, because it's such a change of, kind of character for her. She's always been so like lovely and warm. So to see her as a nasty kind of crime boss has been spectacular on set. I never get cast in these sorts of roles. I'm always the mum or the nice girl or kind of the psychiatrist. Or... So to actually been given the opportunity to play someone so positively evil, I'm relishing every single line that I have to say. It's been fun on set, you know, when the crew are laughing, which is when I generally am not around that it's gonna be a good film. When I come on set, I bring the drama. Jeff. Jeff. Tell us where it is, we all know what you're on. I have never laughed so much on set. Cohen. That man is an apps yeah. I love I love working with that man. He puts a smile on my face every day. And I look forward to coming to work because I get to play with him and Rebecca. But mostly Cohen. Working with Paul Murphy is awesome. He is a wonderful director. He knows exactly what he wants. He's very calm, he's very considered, and he's got an amazing vision. This guy knows what he wants. He knows what he's making. He knows who he wants in it. He knows how he's gonna do it. So straight away you feel comfortable and you trust him, which is hugely important as, as an actor. Low Down Dirty Criminals is a little bit quirky. It's laugh out loud funny. Audiences can expect blood and guts alongside their laughs. You know, it'll keep you on your toes a little bit, it'll keep you at the edge of your seats. It's incredibly heartfelt and you just, you're rooting for these two young men. They are dumb and dumber, but you can't help but love them and you want them to succeed. And I think that's why people will love it.